Hi, I'm Natasha of natashaskitchen.com and it's snowing in Idaho. I love this weather, it's beautiful, but it's also cold and I know just what to make today. I'm gonna make a chicken cream cheese chili. It's delicious and so easy. So let's go inside out of this weather and get some cozy chili going. So let's take a look at this really easy list of ingredients. First, we're gonna start off with two chicken breasts, either fresh or frozen. Then we're gonna take a can of black beans, a can of white beans, a can of sweet corn, a can of diced tomatoes and green chilies, half a bunch of cilantro, a packet of cream cheese, a cup of chicken broth, two small onions or one medium onion, a packet of ranch, a tablespoon of chili powder, you can use less if you don't like spicy, and a teaspoon of ground cumin. And finally, your crock pot. My coworker Amaya shared this recipe with me and she told me that she uses frozen chicken breasts, which is great because I always have frozen chicken breasts in my freezer. So I'm just gonna take the two frozen chicken breasts and put them at the bottom of the crock pot. So you're gonna drain and rinse the beans. And you're gonna rinse just until the water drains clear. Next, add the beans right into the crock pot. You wanna finely chop your onion. And then just add it right into the pot. Then open your can of corn and your can of tomatoes with chilies and just toss them right into the crock pot. No need to drain those. Then chop half a bunch of cilantro. Then top with your chili powder, your ground cumin, and your ranch seasoning. Pour in your chicken broth, and place the cream cheese right on top. Cover and cook on low for six to eight hours. It's usually done in six. So our chili's been cooking for the past six hours on low heat and it's ready. So let's get started on the finishing touches. You wanna pull out the chicken and just shred it apart with forks or a knife, whatever you wanna use. And once you're done, put it right back into the slow cooker and mix everything together just so it's well combined. And that's it, you have your chili. And then you can put it over anything. You can put it over rice, maybe over a baked potato, serve it with chips, whatever you can think of. And if you find something creative, let me know. I love this recipe and I know you will too.